welcome to the prayer my name is amna begum ansari and this week i am going to discuss the smriti rani's visit to the medina and what is the significance of it uh, from my perspective as a indian pashmanda muslim and as a woman so first of all it is very visible that in this uh, visit where uh, uh, smriti rani not only went on uh, diplomatic um, uh, diplomatic tour but also she visited the ud um ud mountain which is very significant for muslims since a lot of uh, muslims martyr uh, rest in peace there and also the uh, very um significant mosque not in in the mo- mosque but uh, she visited it in the peripheral of it so and one can see that she was um she was in attire of her cultural identity as um, she was wearing sari and bindi which is uh, which is considered a hindu culture and mind it i do i keep saying that hindu culture is something which uh, which must uh, which not necessarily associate with the hindu uh religion i mean you do, don't need to be hindu you can be indian muslim indian christian and in, still identify with the hindu culture because this is your um uh, this is the culture born into this land where your ancestral uh, ancestors also follow a lot of uh, um a lot of uh, um uh, cultural rituals and uh, way of dressing sense and everything uh and carry forward to uh, carry forward it as well so um, and i have many time talked about how as a pashmanda muslim i still see the practices of it in marriages and uh, on various occasion so however as a muslim indian muslim women since i am a minority here but i have never faced any kind of restriction on my choices when come to my clothes my lifestyle i can wear from the range of burqa to bikini i mean to be very fair i mean most of the malvis make this uh, comparison of burqa and bikini but there's no too too extreme like there are uh range of uh, choice of cloth is cloths between these two and as an indian muslim you can choose whatever you prefer to wear a lot of indian women uh, muslim women practice hijab they practice burqa they don burqa and they also wear jeans if they want to so when i have such a freedom in this country it felt very um, uplifting to witness that women can go into the medina and uh, choose whatever she wants to wear there so as a muslim women it has a very strong message uh, for me that yes freedom of choices can be practiced everywhere including even now saudi and since uh, muslim people see saudi as a uh, as a, some they look up to saudi on, on various occasions so that can uh, uh, that can turn into a ripple effect and send a right kind of message across the world and uh, especially to muslim world the second uh, 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 take away from this entire visit was that uh, uh, it also dispel uh, both of extreme like one side you see the islamist who are very very uh, angry on this visit and uh, and um, manifesting their um, angst and uh, their irk towards uh, mbs because they believe that what he is doing is not in accordance of the islam what they have learned so they are not ready to understand that there is a vast uh, interpretation and where rules and laws can be changed according to practicality and so many other uh, reason can be behind it so first of all uh, their version of islam that this is the only way of islam which many time we see isis al qaeda also do and impose their version of islam on other muslims as well non muslims so that get ch- challenge plus uh, a lot of uh, intellectual from right wing uh, keep making this argument that the teaching of uh, islam is as such that non muslim cannot coexist with them and i think that yes they are right if we see towards this uh, stigent uh, kind of interpretation of islam which this islamist want to follow it is uh, in a way true but there is entire scope mm-hmm. where if one is willing uh, is willing 
enough they can look into the interpretation they can look into the modern uh, practicality and i keep uh, mentioning mustafa akmal book that goes like a reopening a muslim mind so uh, one should go and look into that is it possible that muslim can coexist with other community peacefully while practicing their islam so it dispel both uh, extreme in my opinion plus as an indian muslim since this visit was not only for uh, some diplomatic ties since uh, smriti rani is also minority affairs minister she went there and increased the quota of uh, uh, number of hajj which is very good news for indian muslims plus she met a lot of uh, volunteer uh, volunteers who help indian muslim uh, when they are going to makkah madina for hajj so that shows that uh, i mean as indian muslim i felt so um thankful that the second largest uh, population of india and indian minority they are not getting taken care only on a policy level and uh, uh, um policy level uh, but the spiritual needs also getting taken care by this government by this indian state and uh, when i look uh, when i look uh, this uh, aspect of uh india it makes me feel more thankful again and again so that's how i feel as an indian muslim thank you